Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The Slut from the Valley is read by Taylor Hayes for Filth. Taylor Hayes evaded any criticism on today's episode of The Bold and The Beautiful by pointing to all of Brooke's poor decisions. Brave and Beautiful Highlights Recap Eric also made it abundantly apparent that he was a member of Team Brooke and that he was sick of people gathering in his office and occupying his chair. Let's now delve a little more into what actually occurred. Taylor Hayes engages in the game of blame. Brooke confronted Taylor, accusing her of deceiving people and waiting for the right moment to stab her in the back. How could you? Really? How can you be that dishonest? Arranging for me to be with Deacon so that you could be with Ridge. Brooke refused to listen to Taylor's attempts to interject with an explanation. After all, she was aware of all the negative comments Ridge had heard Taylor make about her. How was Taylor able to do that? Why would Taylor break their agreement? Brooke believed they had finally turned the corner and were starting a new chapter in their lives. They were teaching our children that rivalries can be overcome and that something lovely, wonderful, and fulfilling can come out of it, she said, similar to our friendship. However, no. Actually, Taylor hadn't done anything to move them. She was only holding off from approaching Ridge. So much for being truthful and open. When Taylor attempted to hook Brooke up with Hollis and Deacon, it wasn't out of concern for Brooke. It was a premeditated action. Brooke questioned just who Taylor was trying to help after Taylor huffed that she had only been trying to help. Brooke, Deacon, herself. Taylor said, I value you. Brooke must have misconstrued what I said to Deacon. Our friendship, too. She would also never take any actions that might put it in danger on purpose. She was just really upset and disappointed that Brooke hadn't shared her worries about Hope and that Brooke always portrayed Thomas as the bad guy. If Brooke was concealing something so significant, what else may she be concealing? Ridge enters the picture at this point. Brooke regretted letting her defenses down and having complete faith in Taylor. She had no idea that her BFF was intentionally harming and misleading her. People have injured her before, but never in this way. As Taylor continued to hesitate, Brooke eventually lost her cool. She wished for Taylor to come clean about her desire for Ridge and quit acting phony. Taylor complied fully. You know, I don't think you're the proper fit for Ridge. He's not the proper guy for you, and neither do I. You two know how much suffering you have inflicted on one another over the years. I don't think he should be with you. And, truth be told, I don't believe you ever were. Dad's the best. Eric inquired about Brooke and Taylor's relationship across the hall, pushed Ridge once again to pack up his belongings and leave the enormous house, and pondered whether his son had made any headway with Brooke. No, actually. However, Taylor had approached him and expressed her true feelings to him. Taylor is not the love of your life, Ridge, Eric inquired as to whether Ridge had ever supported that specific ex. He then made a sobering statement. Brooke Logan is the love of your life. She is, and always will be. Eric took a time to grumble about the open forum his workplace had become before Ridge left and before the two men exchanged sweet I love yous, giving voice to the criticisms raised by admirers from all over. Shang City Deacon told an understanding Hollis about his unsuccessful attempt to win Brooke's heart and his displeasure at falling for Taylor at Il Giardino, Trattoria Rustica. When Hollis inquired about Taylor's arrangement, Deacon kindly responded, That's simple. She wants exclusive access to Ridge. Arriving at Blows, Brooke proceeded to berate Taylor back at Forrester, namely in Eric's office. Taylor responded with a few scathing jabs of her own before Brooke made up her mind to run to Ridge and tell him everything. Brooke and Taylor were soon pushing one another around the room as Taylor made an attempt to obstruct Brooke's exit. Ridge steps in to break up the altercation and demand an explanation, Without her messy which daughter, was happy to get. Taylor gets dirty. The bold and the beautiful spoilers indicate that Taylor is becoming filthy without her messy daughter. As she breaks off her friendship with Brooke, she is revealing her true self. 
Taylor Hayes performs her own unclean work. Taylor Hayes is allegedly doing her own grubby labor, according to Bold and the Beautiful Spoilers. She doesn't require help from Steffi Forrester, her daughter. Steffi has spent a lot of time attempting to reconcile her parents. Taylor is now taking control of the situation. Rich Forrester was previously informed of her continued love for him. Taylor revealed that she frequently has fantasies about their reunion. Additionally, Brooke Logan, a former friend, received it from her. Brooke is not who she looks, she informed Ridge. Taylor's conversation with Ridge was revealed to Brooke. She referred to her as a treacherous liar. Taylor is reportedly currently working alone, according to B and B spoilers. She doesn't require Steffi to carry out her tasks. In the episode from Friday, she took the gloves off. This is a departure from the previous Taylor who employed her children to perform her menial tasks. Fans are observing. On the bold and the beautiful discussion board on Soap Central, one viewer brought it up. They believe Taylor needs to develop a backbone and earn some karma. She is almost usually the good guy in a love triangle. No longer needs assistance from Steffi Forrester. Taylor is no longer in need of Steffi's assistance, according to spoilers for Bold and the Beautiful. Even though Brooke has kept her love for Thomas a secret from Thomas, she still wants to maintain their connection. She even made love to Ridge when he caught her at home alone after her date ended in failure. The bond between Taylor and Brooke won't last. Their agreement is dissolving swiftly. Fans of B&B &B adore the side of Taylor. They believe that once she grows up, people will see through her activities. Brooke was told by Deacon Sharp of Taylor's scheme to bring them back together. Finally, people will recognize Taylor for who she truly is. No Nick one could have Steffi's believed her. co-CEO fight breaks up the Forrester family? In the future, Steffi Forrester and Ridge Forrester might disagree, according to the bold and the beautiful spoilers. The Forresters have recently done a fantastic job of maintaining their family's unity. But that could end soon enough. First off, R.J. Forrester is a Forrester with ties to the Logan family as he has relocated to Los Angeles. When R.J. learns about Ridge and Brooke Logan's enchanted Rome reunion, he'll be completely in favor of it because he thinks they belong together. Steffi, on the other hand, might think Ridge is putting himself in a position to experience more resentment and misery. Ridge's attempts to reconcile with Brooke are always doomed to failure in Steffi's eyes. While Steffi has stopped arranging dates, she nonetheless let Ridge know that Taylor Hayes still has feelings for him. Tension between Steffi and Ridge and RG may result from Steffi finding it difficult to see Taylor lose the love triangle once more. Of course, B and B spoilers indicate that the circumstance involving Thomas Forrester and Hope Spencer may also cause some conflict. If something hot between them occurs in Italy, Steffi might accuse Hope of delaying Thomas' rehabilitation. Since he won't want to lose Brooke again soon after winning her back, Ridge will need to be cautious about how he handles everything. Depending on how Ridge responds to Hope going too far with Thomas, there might be some enmity with Steffi. Given that Steffi and Ridge must get along for the sake of their careers, it is simple to see how all of this could lead to issues. Since they share the role of CEO of Forrester Creations, Ridge and Steffi must get along well with one another. There is a risk that personal issues will affect work and become unmanageable. Steffi and Ridge may have to make some changes at the top since they both care too much about Forrester creations to allow the management there to deteriorate. This can result in a conflict between the co-CEOs and eventually result in one of them resigning. That is especially true considering that Jacqueline Messins Wood will soon need to take her pregnancy leave. If the family conflict gets too much to handle, Steffi might take a break from everything Forrester. Stay with us for updates on the Forrester's future since the bold and the beautiful spoilers indicate that Ridge and Steffi, along with the rest of their family, will need to resolve some significant concerns. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.